folks, what is up and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hello. And our actual lawyer, Pridge. How do you do? <laughs> folks, if you like this, you can catch it every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And hey, if you'd like to support us, we'd really appreciate that. You can head to Etsy.com slash shop slash Shade the Team. Get yourself the brand new merch, uh, both the I'm Dying Over Here shirt and the uh, Bible Spoiler shirt, uh, which are doing really well. Thank you so much for, for checking those out and buying those, folks. We really appreciate that. And uh, hey, if you want to support us on Patreon, that's the best way to support us. Head over to Patreon.com slash Save the Team. Uh, you can get, get yourself a bunch of cool bonus content for supporting us. And hey... At the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this month's brand new Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Mr. Cola Bun, Eddie Cosmo, Cud, Dave Paul, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Taco, Sensei, and Alistair Logano, 1JFJ. Which Tower, Kevin, Asian, Selfaria, Arky, Forensic, Becknick, Cola, Vira, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Jacobel, Crimson, Chrissy, Sheber, Steen, Ryger, Rilla, Jolie, Soul Mistress, BBC, Watt, and Sherlock, Mr. Mercosil, Art, Ami, Borshock. Amelia, super cool. Luffka, Panic, Andrew, Mari, Diego, Garcia, Mega, Zero, and Boomer, Emily. Plethora of penguins, and who needs to sleep, Alea, Yakta, Estever, Entropy, Shattered, Navi, Quill, and Maho, Stars, The Driver, 458, Tasty, Marbar. Jack, Warner, Raz, Red, Crest, Cronut, and Chosen, Tin, Mickey, Anime, Chicken, JC, Foxy, Tin. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick, Rats, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring, Scribes, Yoker, Song, Fulfilla, Written Word, Birthday Punisher, Sevilla. Yuck out, Wendelin, Mars, and Shadow, Navi, Joseph, Shola, The Jester, and Rick Mercury. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. But with that all out of the way, let's get back into the game. Right, we were doing this thing. Uh, we were trying to see what her emotions were. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we haven't yet presented bum rap Ryan or the the thing on the picture of her with. Rap oh, that's right. That's what, yeah. Th at the very end, Pritch was like, "It's it's a different." Uh, yeah, yeah. There, there are the two tail. stuffed animals. And yeah, they both yeah. have the same kind of tail. You gotta object on bum baps and hind. <laughs> Objection! <sighs> Miss Woods, I know this trial has been very hard for you, but you can relax now. You are, without a doubt, innocent. Mr. Wright, what wild assertion are you making now? Okay, I don't think it's a wild assertion, Judge. Like, <laughs> me what? being a defense this teenage lawyer. girl didn't blow up a courtroom? Impossible! My wild assertion is simply this. The two stuffed animals were mixed up. The tail the defendant's fingerprints were found on wasn't that of phony, phony fanty. It was the tale of her gallery companion, Bum Rap Riney! Objection! What? What nonsense is that? I can see they're both stuffed animals, yes, but they're completely different characters. Yeah, well, uh, look at them twice and look at their tails, idiot. An elephant and a rhino. They're as distinct as a defense lawyer and a prosecutor. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, pretty similar. <laughs> Yeah, they do the same job, honestly. <laughs> they're not that different, Payne. Both criminal lawyers, they're both lawyers, both work in the criminal justice system. Not, not that different. <laughs> but are they really so different? Both defense lawyers and prosecutors oh, strive to hey, protect look. peace through law. That's something else that we'll need to do at some point, is do like a pursuit tier list. Or Absolutely. That's what happens when we run out of games. We just have to do like 800 tier lists in a row. <laughs> yeah, it's just all we just become tier list content based that, on that's yeah. just all Ace Attorney. Just every, every kind of Ace Attorney con yeah. tier list you can think of. Mm -hmm. Just keep this kind of whole, content. A whole video. 
Which a whole hey, video folks, about come see which Ace Attorney characters we'd like to have lunch with. <laughs> a whole video that's just whether or not who between bum rap Riney and Phony Fanty is the better signed character. Which Ace Attorney characters do we video. think could most easily be converted to Christianity? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a good ass tier list. That's a good tier list. I'm gonna put that one in the box for earlier. <laughs> what bowling score do you think every Ace Attorney character could get? <laughs> <laughs> Apollo mid 100s. Edgeworth he could probably bowl the 200s easy. <laughs> Even elephants and rhinos have some similar characteristics. They're both gray, for example. Fucking got him. Fucking got him. Anyway, this poster is all I need to prove my assertion to be true. If I may direct the court's attention here, you'll clearly see how the two got mixed up. I mean, this is the tail. Boink! Check that! So. <laughs> Well, would you look at that? The two tails are exactly the same. Yes, exactly. The two stuffed animals are based on entirely different animals. But the design of their tails is exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that even in the wide shot, his hair is still back. Order! Order in the court! As long as the possibility exists that the tail belongs to Bum Rap Riney, no longer consider it to be decisive proof that the defendant handled the bar. Technically, it never was in the first place, but <laughs> you <yeah>, sure. <laughs> as things stand, I consider the charges against the accused unsubstantiated. You agree, Mr. Payne? Oh, uh, yes, of course, Your Honor. <laughs> Ooh, that was great, Mr. Wright. You turned things right around. That's like the title of the game. It's yeah. called Turnabout, Athena. It's not over yet, but at least we managed to hold out this long. I believe that brings our proceedings for today to a close. Judge, there's no way we're going to go to an investigation segment on the first trial of the game. Come on. What, what do you mean, first trial of the game? <laughs> this is a Wednesday, This is Mr. my Wright. 15th trial this week. <laughs> Mr. Payne, I'm afraid you have some serious investigating ahead of you. Oh, God, I have to investigate? <laughs> I've never oh. had to do that before. <laughs> oh, sick. Is this a teaser for... Gasp and Pain Investigations? <laughs> oh no, my god! No, we're gonna play Gasp and Pain Investigations 2 first, I think. <laughs> that game is awesome! <laughs> the first one's just okay, but the second one, the characters <laughs> really okay. shine. And that final case is incredible. <laughs> the fact that they, when they added the dating sim element to Gasp and Pain <laughs> Investigations oh 2, then it took it's off. so good. <laughs> You know, my favorite part was learning the origin story of his toupee. Like, <laughs> tear I, cr I cried, Wes. I cried when Honestly, I learned. Honestly, with how popular yeah. Fire Emblem has become after they added the whole like ro romance uh, mechanic to it, why haven't they done add that to the next Ace Attorney shoe? And boom, you've got a bestseller right there. Oh, I mean, people would fucking go. Yeah, shit. They would go insane. <laughs> Fuck. Yes, Your Honor. Very well. Let us reconvene tomorrow. Court is adjourned. Objection! Oh, well. Alright, we won. Sweet. Well, that was nice. Yeah, that was really easy. Uh, worried about this investigation yeah. segment, but... Yeah, and it's going to fade to black and be like... To be continued. We ended up winning. No, we ended up winning. The end. On to the next case. We didn't need to show it. <laughs> Fuck the pain family line. Gaffin it was Payne really was boring. Gaffin Payne was unable to find any additional evidence, so the, second, <laughs> the trial ended in like five minutes. Shoots and Kubi is just like, hey, listen, y'all, I couldn't think of any other fun things, so 
Let's just say they did it. Yeah. All right, on to the next game. <laughs> the miracle did happen. That was so exciting, boss. We did it. True to form, you managed to just barely, barely pull it off at the very last moment. True to form? Gee, never knew you had such a glowing opinion of me. Thank you for everything you're doing. You did great, Miss Woods. You really stuck it out. And you got really brave at the end, just when we needed you most, Junie. Thanks to you, we were able to turn things around. Well, you were the one who gave me that courage, Nina. Really? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I love that face. Yeah, me too. It's really so, good. Be honest. Was I any help at all? Of course. Without you, we would have never gotten out of that tight spot. That's good to hear. I may still have a lot to learn, but you can bet I'm going to give it my all. I'll be so good that one day you'll call me your partner. <laughs> Don't get carried away. <laughs> Wait a minute, did you just say partner? <laughs> Edgeworth! Uh, the something, only something in me is resonating with my past ancestors. No, uh, Athena, the only way you get to be uh, named on the title of this uh, law firm is if I die. That's how it worked with me and Nina, <laughs> at least. And that will never happen. <laughs> I'm unkillable. <laughs> <laughs> Have you played Marvel vs. Capcom 3? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Analytical psychology. The ability, the ability to solve the riddles of a person's heart. The most true potential is beginning to really shine through now. Hey, where's Apollo anyway? Hmm, who? Good question. I almost forgot about him. I assumed he'd still be here in the lobby. And so, and so did Shu Takumi. <laughs> Maybe he's still in courtroom number four. Also, why would we expect him to still be here in the lobby? Wasn't he like, wasn't his, wasn't his injuries acting up? We assumed he was going to go get medical attention. Do we think he's like, <laughs> I'm in too much pain to do no, this No, I pain. think we told him, I think we told him to just sit out here and yeah. take a breather. So I was like, I'm too in pain to do this, but I will just sit here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Courtroom number four. What would he be doing at the scene of the explosion? When I came out to the lobby to rest, I told Apollo about bum rap Bryony. I told him I dropped Bryony in the courtroom as I was trying to escape before the blast. And then... Apollo said he had an idea where Bryony might be, so we went to take a look together. Hmm. I guess Apollo can be pretty nice when he wants to be. The fuck is that? Like, Apollo is so nice! So, you went looking for Riney together before you were called back into courtroom number five. Yes. I'd had some time to rest, so I was able to go and look for him. But then they called me into courtroom number five to testify. Apollo insisted on staying there, though. With all those injuries? I wonder how he's managing I think Apollo might have figured something out. Hmm. Wonder what it was. He told me, I'm going to look for evidence to clear your name, Juniper. Just maybe. He found some new piece of evidence. Anyway, we better go and get him. Good idea. They go in there, he's just like passed out on the floor. His wounds reopen again. No. 
Oh, shit, I was right. <laughs> oh, no, somebody attacked him. Fun little uh, save screen jingle. I like that. <laughs> Damn, Shutaku me disliked him so much you had to write him out of the game already. You had to kill him halfway <laughs> through the first trial. <clears throat> this isn't exactly how I envisioned the second day of this trial to, to start. I started reading that faster than Phoenix was speaking. This isn't exactly how I envisioned the second day of this trial to start. But given how things ended yesterday. Good morning. The mood sure is tense. Not that that's any surprise. Did you read the paper this morning, boss? Oh, you mean the one with the uh, deposition listed in it? Uh... <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Really no, quick. I was talking about the... I was talking about, did you see the newest Marmaduke column? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Marmaduke. The, sh the shit that Marmaduke got up to today. Absolutely wild. <laughs> How do they put up with that dog? Somebody in the chest is like, hell, Athena reads the paper. Yeah, the idea that anybody who looks like Athena would read the paper, by which I mean young and likes technology, is insane. <laughs> huh? The paper? That came out of left field. You didn't read it? And you don't know about the big news! <laughs> Somebody spotted an abominable snowman way up in the mountains! Tell me you know the difference between a paper and a tabloid, Athena? It might show up in the forest where you live, Juni. So you better watch out, okay? Why would you tell that to... <sighs> really should read the story for yourself. I couldn't even begin to do it justice. <laughs> Says, that's not a snowman, Athena. That's the Yeti! Do it justice. Apollo. Oh, I was just gonna make a joke. J justice? Huh? Justice! Oh, poor Apollo. If it's all my fault. Athena! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Judy, what was I thinking? I'm so sorry. What we found you know yesterday is not Apollo's dead body, thank goodness. But he'd been assaulted by someone with a blow to his head and was lying unconscious. We rushed him to the hospital right away. It looks like he's going to pull through. But it was still quite a shock to stumble onto a scene like that. Is Miss Woods all right, Athena? Well, I managed to get her to stop crying. Now she's resting on that sofa over there. I guess she really feels responsible for what happened to Apollo. Poor Junie. She believes that the reason Apollo was attacked is because he was helping her look for something in the courtroom. I guess I can see why she'd think that. By the way, how are you doing? Who? Me? Yeah, you. I know you're concerned about Miss Woods, but are you alright? Me? I'm doing just fine, boss. I'm a nervous wreck! <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it was a huge shock, but I'm alright. 
People who have studied analytical psychology are great at times like these. After all, they've learned how to control their own emotions, too. I mean, that's not entirely true, to be sure. Have you seen, uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson? <laughs> <laughs> something something blue lobsters, I don't know. Something something cry at weird moments. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think it's as easy as she makes it sound. I mean, I appreciate right here, she's smiling and giving the victory sign, but Widget is crying <laughs> and feeling sad. Widget is not. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no denying she's a real trooper. Paula doesn't remember a thing, does he? Oh no, he's got amnesia? Fuck, he's gonna have to have his own ah, tutorial ah, case I... now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can't recall anything from the time right before he was assaulted. Nothing about what he was doing in courtroom number four, or who assaulted him. He also kept muttering about how he had to find out who the siren was. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor said it's probably due to that hit he took to the head. Assaulted in a court of law, and losing your memory at that. I know how that feels. Curse you, Richard Wellington! But who in the world would do such a thing? Tom, huh, Mr. Wright? Richard Wellington. He's escaped. <laughs> Ugh. Just wait till I get my hands on that coward who hurt our Apollo. Oh no, Athena. I thought you said you were in control of your emotions. Let's just focus on helping Miss Woods, okay? But I admit... Just as upset as you. Okay, boss. You're right. Apollo's assailant can wait until after we clear Junie's name. <laughs> I have a feeling that they're the same person, but sure. That's the spirit of justice. Wait, fuck. Wrong game. <laughs> now let's see. I better check in the court record one more time before the trial starts. Uh, did we get new evidence? I don't think so. Nope. Earth and Mr. Wright, I'm ready whenever you are. All right. Let's get... All right. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. You bet. Uh, fun fact about let's get ready to rumble. They have that term copyrighted. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know. You, no one can say let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. It makes me laugh because in the fucking musical, The Full Monty, they have to say let's get ready to rumba. And they, like, stretch it out, so, like, as the audience, you don't know, but in the text, it has to say rumba, which is really funny. It's awesome. Everything that happened with Apollo, I don't have time for a proper investigation. Can't let that stop me, though. I have to get this right, for Miss Wood's sake. And Apollo's, too. <laughs> I have to get this right for Miss Wood's. Oh, yeah, and I guess Apollo, whatever. Yeah, fuck that guy. His name's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this title card. I think this title card's cool. I do too. Yeah. yeah. Like it's using the 3D in it, a good, good way. It's a better transition to the scenes than just, just gavel. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. Just immediate rabble, 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 and then gavel. Mm -hmm. Rabble, rabble, and then gavel. <laughs> rabble, rabble, gavel, gavel, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Court will now reconvene for the trial of Juniper Woods. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is also ready, Your Honor. Now then, I believe I instructed the prosecution to further their investigation. Were you able to locate the remote switch in question? Uh, I'm afraid the remote switch is still missing, Your Honor. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm guessing this is just a representation. Hey, hey guys, what? I think is this what you're looking for? <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming this is just like 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 Mr. the concept Wright, of it. Were you the courtroom bomber? Ah oh, shit! I forgot this in my pocket, Your Honor. <laughs> 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 it was. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I stole it just before the blast, and it's now missing. Okay. Cool. 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 <laughs> I must 
say I'm disappointed, <clears throat> Mr. Payne. <clears throat> Not angry, just disappointed. God damn, just like a spoken like a true dad. I know, right? Thanks, Dad. I apologize, Your Honor. Huh. Looks like the prosecution is just as unprepared as I am. <laughs> there is a separate matter, however, that I would like to bring up during this trial. A separate matter, you say? And what might that be? I assume you are aware that another incident occurred during yesterday's trial? Oh yeah, somebody clogged up the bathroom. You really need to get find that guy. This is the fifth time this week. Uh, it's Tuesday. I'm speaking of, <laughs> I'm speaking, of course, of the assault on Mr. Justice in the ruins of courtroom number four. Oh yeah, yeah, that. Uh oh, why is he bringing that up? Uh, yes, what a truly harrowing experience it must have been. And poor Mr. Justice. <laughs> <laughs> At the time of the attack, Mr. Justice was not alone. For Justice never walks alone. He was with the defendant, Miss Juniper Woods. He isn't going where I think he's going with this, is he? Oh, you bet he is. Yeah. The prosecution wishes to indict Miss Woods on the charge of Mr. Justice's assault. Man. Order. Order in the court. Mr. Payne. The incident under deliberation here is the courtroom bombing. Okay, but, like, we've always tried other, like, crimes into the same case, Judge. Like, this isn't new. The assault on Mr. Justice has nothing to do with this trial. Ah, but I believe there is a connection between this case and Mr. Justice's assault. Uh, please, take a moment to consider these facts. Both events occurred in courtroom number four. Oh, I get it. So courtroom number four is haunted. Ah. Well, it's a good thing someone blew it up. We should give that person a medal. <laughs> this is the location in courtroom number four where the unconscious Mr. Justice was discovered. As you can see, it's quite close to where Detective Arm's body was found. The question is, why did the culprit feel the need to maliciously attack Mr. Justice? Why indeed? What do you believe their motive to be, Mr. Payne? I believe Mr. Justice found something in that courtroom while Miss Woods was with him. Evidence that fingered her... Stop. ...as the perpetrator of the bombing. You couldn't help yourself, could you? <laughs> you mean he found some incriminating evidence? Precisely. And so I surmise that the defendant picked up a piece of rubble and... hit Mr. Justice on the back of the head in order to silence him. Objection! Just Junie would never do such a thing. She was devastated when we found Apollo hurt like that. Ms. Sykes, please control your outbursts. Suck a dick, old man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> it is the prosecution's belief that by deliberating on Mr. Justice's assault, we will draw ever closer to the truth of the courtroom bombing itself. Very well. Ms. Woods is hereby officially indicted on the charge of assaulting Mr. Justice. What? Why are you listening to Mr. Toupee over there? Although, considering our conversation yesterday... I think Apollo might have figured something out. I think Miss Woods actually did that. Hmm, I wonder what it was. 
Let me just go check on him. <laughs> uh, no reason to follow me. Yeah, you, you stay out here. Then we'll go in together. You stay right here. <laughs> and if you hear any screaming, it's just, uh, I have... Some of my coughs come out like screams sometimes. <laughs> anyway, bye. He told me, I'm going to look for evidence to clear your name, Juniper. The two incidents really are related after all. I would like to start by hearing for the defendant herself. Very well. Bailiff, please bring Miss Woods to the witness stand. Cough, cough. Hey, you yeah. got it. You got it. <laughs> got him. I was like, I was like, it's not gonna be one. It's gonna be two. Mm. I'm sorry. I can't seem to stop. Miss <laughs> Woods. She's really still upset about Apollo. Miss Woods, you went to the ruins of courtroom number four with Mr. Justice, did you not? Yes, I did. Good, good. If you would, then, please testify about what happened to the court. Okay. Ooh. During the trial yesterday, I was overcome by a fit of coughing. Cougher. <laughs> Apollo stayed with me. Thank God there were no wheezing there. Really? Wheezing! Oh, no. <laughs> wow, that was really good wheezing! <laughs> Apollo stayed with me and we went to the courtroom ruins together. But then I was called back to this courtroom to give testimony. Apollo insisted on staying behind in courtroom number four. I swear, I didn't attack Apollo! Why would I ever hurt such a kind person? So, Mr. Justice stayed by your side while you were feeling unwell? What an admirable young man! I thought his loud voice was his only outstanding feature. Why does everybody dunk on Apollo? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Again, just because I because voiced like, him. I don't think he's a bad guy. <laughs> No, it's funny because I feel like, again, I feel like in the last game, they were trying to make him the main character. Uh -huh. And then I feel like fan feedback was like, not an Aubrey Phoenix back. I think, like, and like, so now they just kind of dunk on him. I feel like the, the whole bit is that Apollo my head acts cannon. like the straight man in this situation of like, he's like very no nonsense serious. And everything about Ace Attorney is so unserious for the most part. Uh, so he stands out in that way, but like, damn. <laughs> Uh -huh. Catching Damn. strays. He's not even here. He really is just catching some strays. <laughs> he may look like a little imp at times, but Apollo can be really nice, too. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does everybody hate Apollo? I hope she didn't... <laughs> I hope she didn't hurt her wrist backhanding that one out. That's Damn, incredible. That's a yeah, that's, that's a really, really good that's phrase. That's a good one. <laughs> But one has to wonder, why did Mr. Justice stay behind in the ruins? I think Apollo might have figured something out. Something? What kind of something? The mysterious origin of the clones in the gallery, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? They're the just Oz an ordinary gallery. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Ixnay on the owns clay in this way. <laughs> something to do with the courtroom bombing, kind of something, I think. Oh ho! New evidence for the case, was it? That's a very big kind of something indeed. Mm hmm. I believe so. He mentioned looking for some evidence when I was called away. Objection! Just as I thought, there is a connection between the two incidents. But the defendant has told a very big lie, Your Honor. What lie is that? 
When she learned Mr. Justice would be looking for evidence, she attacked him. Okay, but you don't have proof of that. She attacked him to give herself the chance to destroy that evidence. You can't just say that. Oh, but I can. <laughs> it's called doing whatever I want. <laughs> Miss Woods repaid Mr. Justice's kindness with violence. We found the proof of her foul Fuck off. there in the courtroom ruins. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they, they can't they keep again. doing this. <laughs> They wow. can't keep doing this! <laughs> yeah! Also, why didn't they show- Also, why didn't they show that to us? This is <laughs> lit- Yeah, also, that definitely wasn't in that anime cutscene. Also, like... Yes, it's Leon, but it's also literally just fucking Mr. Latouse from last game! And... And my, uh, not a boyfriend! Yeah, and, and my, uh... And my, uh... And, uh... And, yeah, uh, they really like this trope of writing names and yeah, blood on and the, the floor. Guy, and the cop guy who spelled Maggie wrong. This yeah. is... Oh, yeah, that too. Uh, yeah, wow, they, are, they, they are obsessed with this. All right. You know what? You know what, guys? Let's 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 take this and run with it. Another tier list video. <laughs> which is the best, best writing blood, blood on, on the, the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Holy... That's... Honestly... That's funny enough that you can make a 10 minute YouTube video out of it and it would be really good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck off. I'm so mad about this. <laughs> Apollo's clearly mad about it Ma too. Just Apollo's like, the siren. Why did they make me do this? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? Do you see it? There, in front of Mr. Justice's right hand. No, idiot. Of, of, like, come on. There's a crack in the floor. <laughs> There's something and wrong with the your ass. There's a crack in it. Crack it. Oh. <laughs> I'm also doubling as a comedian. Hey, me too. <laughs> Would you like... Would you like to open for me sometime? <laughs> yeah, let's work it out. Witness the message he left us. It, it's written in blood. W O O D S. Why, isn't that the forest? Yes, Your Honor. That's right, Your Honor. It says Woods in capital letters. No, it says Leon. So the culprit fled into the forest. <laughs> what? I submit that Mr. Justice left us with the name of his attacker before he fainted. Mm hmm. It's pretty sus. No, that can't be true. Why would Apollo write my name? Mr. Wright, the nerve of him leaving that message. Why would he do that? Hey, don't take it out on me. I don't understand it any more than you do. I discovered Apollo yesterday. A Apollo! No. <laughs> Scream time. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> Not, yeah. I can't do screams. <laughs> screams are hard. They screams are, are hard. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even have a chance to rush over to him. We just left him there. As soon as, as soon as security heard Athena scream, they ran in and cordoned off the area. After that, they were in courtroom number four with Apollo the whole time. We couldn't investigate anything ourselves and had to leave everything to the police. Still, I thought they would find some bloody writing there. Now then, please begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Alone with Apollo. During the trials, overcome by a fit of coughing, Apollo stayed with me and we went to the court ruins together. 
Then I was called back into this courtroom to give testimony. Paul insisted on staying behind in court number four. I swear I didn't just have Paul while, but I never hurt some such a kind person. Uh, I kind of want to start pressing it here of like what the last thing she remembered in the room was. And then going from there. Uh, I don't know if you have strong feelings about that bridge, but... Nah, it's fine. Hold it! That was when you were called to the stand. After Mr. Tonate's testimony, right? Yes. The bailiff came to courtroom number four and brought me back to this courtroom. And what about Mr. Justice? Did he come with you, or did he stay behind? Okay, that wasn't very helpful. Oh, he thing. was definitely behind. Oh, all right. Stop. I was gonna say, <laughs> can we not just go ask that bailiff if... Right, Apollo was right. conscious when he went to get Junie, because that would... That would also kind of... absolutely solidify her claims that it happened after him. After right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Uh, sorry, Ron. Uh, I'm not so... I have really bad stage fright, so I can't testify. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, it's okay, Stallone, Bailiff. We appreciate your, your service. Thank yeah. you, sir. <laughs> Better not ask her about Apollo. I know. I'll use some small talk here to give, get her to relax a bit. Okay, well, this is going to be a nothing statement, but... Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any hobbies, Miss Woods? Bomb making? Can you look this guy in concrete? Uh, any, anything else? Just anything as your lawyer that would be nice to hear about. Crimes of other kinds. <laughs> Being gay and then doing those crimes. <laughs> Hobbies? Oh, well, I love growing vegetables in my garden. And I love to knit. I like sewing, too. I made this outfit myself. That's pretty cool. Keep it up, Mr. Wright. It's working. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Now, Athena Before loves the, her. Like, I need to. I need to point out, uh, Junie. What? Who? What is it? Where is it? Where are we again in the chat? Said the Junie bomber. The Junie <laughs> bomber. That's really good. How did we not think of that? But that's so good. Holy wow. shit! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's so good. <laughs> now ask if she has a crush on anyone. <clears throat> so, um, is there anyone in particular that you like right now? Objection! Please let it be me, please let it be me, please let it be me! <laughs> Mr. Wright, is that a question even remotely related to this case? To this case. Shut up, blocker. <laughs> uh, not really. Mr. Wright, you will refrain from asking questions unrelated to the case at hand. Sorry, Your Honor. Minus one to brownie points. Why was brownie points capitalized there? <laughs> Ms. Woods, please continue with your testimony. I believe you were telling the court about who you had a crush on. <laughs> I believe you were telling the court about your attack on Mr. Justice. I don't think it... It can't be this. Hold it. So, you think Mr. Justice is kind? Well, let me tell you about the terrible things he's done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very kind. He rescued me. He's like the sun, strong and warm. He makes me feel strong too. The adjectives I associate with the sun are sweltering <laughs> and machi and oppressive. That? Me too, Phoenix. But then Apollo got hurt and. and. it's all my fault! <laughs> Junie, Apollo's gonna be fine. He's just like the sun, right? 
Well, the sun doesn't. He'll explode in a billion years. <laughs> Hey, that's still pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. funny. It's pretty funny. <laughs> you really think he'll be fine? <laughs> but the sun does go down at night. So you could say that yeah, I yeah. am the night. Well, your mom goes down at night too, Pan. How about that? But oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Then that means Apollo could. <gasps> Mr. Payne, I do not think much of men who make young ladies cry. <laughs> Look, it's obvious Judy didn't attack Apollo. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Right, I agree. We must have gone to look for Bum Rap Riney together. Why do they need to find it so badly that they go through all that trouble? Better try to find out more. Okay, I think I gotta keep pressing other statements. I should have coughed that can't be it. Okay, that's probably this. Um, also, I just want to check uh, really quick because we got a donation from Future Skeleton, also known as Dessert Boy Man. She said, sorry I'm late, I got hit by a van today and didn't even get isekai'd. That's a really funny joke, but are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Nothing broken, but boy am I sore. I hope you're okay, Dessert yeah, Boy Owie. Man. Uh, well, maybe, maybe you did get isekai'd, but just into a world that is eerily similar to the one you were already in. That, the, the worst version of isekai. It's like the same, but like... <laughs> I got isekai into the same exact place. <laughs> the same, but I'm like 5% more funny. You know, like that's... <laughs> if you find yourself liking more uh, of my jokes tonight, you might have been isekai <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that is that the new you might be a redneck? I th thought about making that joke. <laughs> yeah. You might be. You might be isekai You might be <laughs> If you find yourself leveling up in a fantasy world, you might have been isekai <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> also, feel better, Dessert Boy Man. Yeah, please, please. Oh my god. Why exactly did you go to the courtroom ruins? We went to look for my medicine. To stop my coughing. Oh, you take medicine? Your medicine? Why would your medicine be in courtroom number four? Your medicine? You take medicine? Haven't you heard that the government puts no. microchips in your medicine to spy on you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a sheeple? Stop. I dropped it in the heat of the moment. Because there was a lot of heat in that moment. <laughs> Bum rep Riney. He was keeping my medicine safe for me. He has a little compartment that I can put things in. Like bombs, you see. <laughs> and Phony Fanty is the same type of pocket. That's where the bomb was inserted. Inserted. I had to put my medicine for my coughing fits inside Bum Rap Riney. When I told Apollo about it, he said he'd help me go look for him. There was so much rubble in there. I was worried, but... There was no rubble or anything in front of the witness stand. So when we got inside, Apollo went straight there. And started looking for my Riney in that area. It was so nice of him to do that for me, in spite of all his injuries. Apollo is so strong and kind, just like the trees of the forest. What? The way she makes him sound, you'd think Apollo was some kind of ancient god. That's, okay, I mean, hey, that's fine. Hey. Okay, that's also, they the animation, that. the animation for Phoenix's face. It's really good. I don't know what he looks like. The way they do his chin and his <laughs> mouth, he looks like an animated character. Chat, tell me who I'm thinking of. Hmm. Just any animated character. There's a particular one. It's that face when he does like the exhale. Mm -hmm. He yeah. looks like something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, keep going. I'll think of it. Oh, wait. Gorillas, maybe? Yeah, he just kind of looked like one of the gorillas. I think that might be it. Mm -hmm. mm. 
So that's why you went to the ruins. I see. That seems to be quite an important fact. Please add it to your testimony, Miss Wood. Okay, so we needed that. The bum rap grinding near the witness stand where there was no rubble. I mean, that doesn't really... Can't really make a claim from that, I don't think. Yeah, you can just press it for now and see what happens. Yeah, let me see what they say. Hold it! The area around the witness stand? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? Uh, no, no, of course not. I was just testing my hearing. Must not upset her, must not upset her. Yes, I'm sure that's where we searched first. Maybe it is that? I mean, it's kind of tenuous. It, I mean, I guess like a like the top and left side of it are kind of blocked. I do appreciate this diagram it has the drawing of woods written out on the ground. Uh huh. I'll hey, try, try it. it. Oh, we got we got some. Hey. Yeah. Right. Look, at, look at us go. 